All right, welcome back guys. Unknown Fury here, and we're gonna be continuing Ad Infinitum. Currently on, I believe it was chapter three, and the subchapter is called Trenches. This is turning out to be a very long game. I thought it was gonna be like a four hour playthrough or something. But we're on stream number four. The story is getting interesting. Yet, uh, kinda wanna see the appeal that makes you care about the main character so much. Right now, I'm just like, he's just some guy who died. Well, supposedly died in the war. So we'll see how everything ties together when we get closer to the end here. But, let's get started. Huh? Start with the telephone call. Yes. Thank God. The back. Where have you been? Did you hear the screams? The enemy has broken into our trenches once more. Meet me in the command, Luca. It's up to us now. There's no one else left. All right. Do I still have that windy flashlight? Yeah, there you go. Sick bay. Dear Surgeon General, I am writing to lodge an official complaint regarding the new Gompenfuer, Lieutenant Von Schmidt. Despite my protestations, he insists upon referring to me as Dr. Eisbarth. After the deplorable drinking song, he has even had Otterfreiser Eigert and Otterfreiser, oh my god, it's so weird, from paint. Uh, the name on a sign in front of my office. Our men are dying by the dozen, their lungs ravaged by poison gas. Typhoid is also widespread. And on top of all this, I now have to deal with a buffoon of a lieutenant telling his men I can magically restore the dead to life. In light of the lieutenant's lack of experience, I have attempted to remain tolerant of his shenanigans. However, even I have my limits. With respect, Dr. Weidenbach, September 8th, 1917. Alright, let's, let's, let's see. What else? What else? Uh, Newman's death. Confidential. Uh, da, 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 da. Dear Dr. Weidenbach, I had the misfortune of watching while Officer Eigart and Fromm Push. Uh, oh my god, these freaking German words or whatever it is. Out into no man's land wearing nothing but his boots. He was shot. After I had managed to pull his body back into the trench, the two officers started haggling over his boots and possessions. Would it be wise to report this to the lieutenant? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's wartime. If you need the boots, you need the boots. Ah, this freaking guy again. The dummy has nothing but contempt for you. How do you know that? How do you know that? It's an inanimate object. We got a dog tag of uh, Fitz Herring. Another dog tag, Joseph Kazik. Gonna get a bunch of dog tags here. The meal unlocks. We can hardly stand. If German pride will not permit us to surrender, then we shall die. I suppose we may as well go to hell. At least we won't drag the rest of the world down with us. JBS. <coughs> 
the dog tag Albert Eight. Dog tag Casper Hoffner. Yeah, I bet you there's achievement for collecting all of those, but I doubt I got all of them. Poem, part one. Alone in the woods, a red flower blooms. Soon all too soon, I shall meet my doom. Soon all too soon, a lump of lead somewhere will take my sorrow. Be it today, or be it tomorrow. The rest is missing. It's not bad. Alright, we went here, and we ended circling up around here and coming back. So, let's check out this way, I guess. Oh. oh, this is where I came from. Okay. Answer the phone. Came down this way. Is that door locked too? Yeah. All this. I didn't see this though. Dog tag, class, Erwick. Did I check out this area? Yeah, nothing here. It's another locked door. Oh yeah, we saw all these bunkers, but... Well, all these beds. There's nothing here for me to do, right? Yeah. Then we popped out here. That's the way back. So what's this way? There you go. Whoops. I forgot, you have to be precise when cutting the barbed wire. Oh. And you have to target the one that's not moving. My bad. Let's go the way that has no light. Oh, oh no, that's a tree. All right, dead end. You're sure you can get the machine running again if you can just find some fuel, right? We have an objective. She has a hose connected to it. Good to know, I guess. Uh, I guess I went the wrong way. Pigeon. Uh, you got something for me? Nothing. Nothing. Ah, damn it. Bunch of barbed wire everywhere. knows there was something crawling in front of me.
There you go. That's the one. That's the top one. Oh, it's kind of pointless to have that many. God dang, that's a lot of birds. Uh, let's just pick a direction and go with it. Tunnels flooded, you can't get through. Ah, so that's what that machine's for. It's a pump. But what's this? Alright, so we still gotta find a gas. That way we can operate the pump. And go down that tunnel. Understanding it now. I doubt I would have to go all the way back. I don't see any gas cans here. Fuel. And I feel like we went everywhere in this section here. It's all blocked off. Well, that's weird. I usually don't have a marker. Oh, just because of the squeeze through area. Bunch of drums. It's a good sign. Tank is empty, you can't get anything out of it. Okay. Full of diesel oil. Now all you need is an oil can. All right. 
course there wouldn't be an oil can here, you know? You gotta make things difficult, huh? Empty fuel cast. Nice. Stamp bill of delivery. Current inventory 14 barrels, capacity 216 liters each. Delivery today 3 barrels, capacity 216 liters each. Okay. Yeah, notes like this, I'm just like, why? Get me some gas. Alright, that's good to go. Now we can go fuel up that pump. But it looks like there was more to explore over here real quick. Like that house, that little shack over there. What's up with this? Absolutely nothing. All right, let's go to the pump. Oh, not that. Where do I feel it up at? There it is. Turn that bad boy on. And we're gonna go check on the pump area. Well, the little mining shaft area. I was like, all right, great. I was expecting this. Somebody's going to come get me. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? Welcome to the stream, man. I think you hit something. Yeah, yeah. I think you did too, man. Oh, I hear some weird gurgling sounds and stuff. Path of Exile. It's not a bad game. It's just too much work for me to play that game. <laughs> It's already been out for a while. Dog tag, a mule, SNC. The flooded shaft. Lieutenant Von Schmidt has ordered us to clear the water out of the old shaft using the pump. It's nonsense. Of course, it's filled up again straight away as soon as it rains again. Eck found the remains of a French uniform in the mud. They must have died down there before this godforsaken patch of land fell into our hands. If the lieutenant keeps up slogging away like this with hardly anything to eat it won't be long before the mud takes us to <laughs> yeah these endless grinds oh yeah a very grindy game Yeah, something's going to eat me over there. There it is. Whatever it is.
God, it sounds like it's like right behind me. Come on, grab the freaking thing. There you go. Anton Emil. Where, 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 I'm like turned around here. Where am I going? Oh, there you are. I guess I'm going that way. one of you He's right there one of those okay so those things when I flash the light on it they'll freeze I gotta lure him out though and go stay there all right I did not get that close. Plus, I have the light on you. All right, we got past that. know which way I'm supposed to go but let's not go that way that battery's about to die Yeah, you know, this. Hold on. I didn't realize my volume was kind of low. Buy him. Now you can hear how creepy it is for me. Come on. Come on. I can't see. I need better batteries. into a corner then. Alright, so maybe I'm supposed to go down that path where I saw that one guy. Seem like you're moving, but not really. Yeah, 
that thing's just like stuck there. Never mind. to go here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Other side. <laughs> Is he following me? Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Tags. Uh, we need our gas mask now. It's the gas. Camille Habe. Jabe. Alright, food tip. Kazik, it work, and I are fed up. Fed up of these uh, bare bone rations. Lunettes, pets, getting anything they want. We're gonna sneak in and grab what we've earned. Schnapps, brandy, tobacco. We'll stash all our loot in the old shaft. No one dares go down there. We're not scared of anything anymore. Not the loot net and not this shaft. It'll all be over soon anyways. Crawling cheese. What's up, dude? Welcome. Playing a little bit of a scary scary here. Joseph Kaplan. Another dog tag. Uh, I'll be back pretty soon, I think. I, I was expecting to be back this month, but I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> we'll see, though. We're getting there. I'm not, I'm not going to complain. Gaspard Hubert. Do a bunch of dog tags down here. Been playing any games lately, dude? Uh oh, uh oh, have some updates for me, oh no, alright yeah, hit me up, hit me up with the gossip. <laughs> ben, what are you going? Oh, look at you, right, hit me up about that too. Did you always have a girl? I thought you were like single, dude. Just uh, happened when I was gone, huh? This is new. That's right. Alright, we're going this way then. Yeah, we're going this way. I think. Oh, there you go. There's some stairs. I can take off my gas mask now. Eesh. I really don't know where I'm going. I'm just, yeah. I don't even know why we're here. Break it down. 
There you go. And we are where now? Another dog tag. Anton Schmetzdanz. Sounds like your people. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jawohl. Somebody's here. We had more like it. Oh. Absolute commentator. Ah. Yes, he's officer material, all right. Hey, I opened it. Why can't I go in? Perfect fit for my flight squadron. You can count on me, sir. Yavole, Commandant. Ah, there you are, soldier. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> even though you failed to stop that fiendish saboteur. But we don't need weapons to get the job done, do we? At ease, soldier. Your reliability and ambition are exemplary. I managed to get through to Supreme Army Command. However, I'm afraid I have some bad news. What, that we there's a bunch of monsters everywhere? Yeah. Deserters and traitors back home are trying to drive a dagger into our backs. They want to force the Kaiser and the Supreme Army Command to surrender. Cowards. They have no idea what things are like out here on the front. Yeah, monsters. They are being overrun. Anakin monsters. Perhaps they are even responsible for these freaks of nature that plague our trenches. They want to hold us back. This new enemy, it even has aerial capability now, attacking from the sky. It hates the light. I managed to blind it with our searchlights. But uh -huh. then its scream short-circuited everything. Uh -huh. The fuses, the wires, all burnt out. Can I come in now? No. Come on. Teabag the door. Ugh, okay. This enemy knows no Oh, mercy. continue the conversation on this side. Stop at our borders. Funny. If we lay down arms, it will ravage the whole body. The Felton brand will be upon us and the world will burn. Everything we fought for will be lost. The Kaiser and Supreme Army Commander are aware of the weapons. They're counting on us. There's some technical equipment in my plate. Fuses, among other things. Out there in no man's land. Soldier, attention! You will fight your way through to the crash plane in the west. Secure the equipment. The fuse for the searchlight. Then we can blind this monstrosity. I'll cover you from up there. I see things so much clearer now. I'll keep an eye on you. <laughs> and then, then, we will be the cleansing fire. We will wipe the enemy off the face of the earth. And earn our way back home. <laughs> this is a joke. No faltering. No hesitation. For freedom! And the fatherland dismissed, soldier. This guy's eyes are literally bandaged over. He says, I'll cover you with the rifle if I'm over here. Don't worry, I can see better than I used to. <laughs> God, what is this? I'm gonna get shot. Uh, orders, stand by, radio operator on duty. Otsufer Jos Johans von Schmidt. September 10, 1917. Attention. Strictly confidential orders for the duty officer. The pressure on our troops and our homeland is growing. We must absorb this pressure and return it tenfold. The slightest hesitation could cost us our victory. Stand by for further orders. Supreme Army Command. Alright. And I can't go that way. that way. Alright, going out this door, I guess. Oh, wait, I need a key. None of these doors are locked. Grab for a rifle.
Oh, squeeze through. Oh my god. They put the squeeze through action right there to get between a chair and a desk. to go all the way around to get in here, huh? Order, searchlight, radio operator on duty. Let's for Johann von Schmidt. She effectively, the all anti-aircraft searchlights are now connected to an electrical system. This is highly sensitive military equipment. A reliable power supply must be established for the use of this system. This is a matter of the utmost urgency. All sections of the field through which the power supply runs must be protected against access and sabotage by the enemy. through that doorway. Alright, confusing the heck out of me. Oh, I guess I'm going this way then. That's for Eggert and I to sing a song for our friend Dr. Weidemann. We were only too happy to oblige. We're always up for a bit of fun. We sang him the old classic about Dr. Eisenbart. At his crackpot operations, the doctor didn't seem to appreciate it, but His Highness the Lieutenant gave us a couple of extra rations of the finest beer for our efforts. It doesn't get much better than that. I don't know about these notes, man. Okay, again, this is a dead end. Monsters from here. Mother and father are starving, even if they won't admit it. Story. <laughs> All right. 
check it out in a bit. Alright, we came out of the gas. We don't want to go that way. I guess we can't go this way. I really hope they don't intend for me to go back into the gas. this way since it's open, but it's not open. Alright, this is getting annoying. locked from the other side. I get that, but it's open. And I don't have the key for that door, apparently. I feel like we're supposed to go that way. I just don't see the key. Ah, son of a dick. hidden underneath the map. Alright, let's get out of here. Did they really have to make that freaking thing? Pick up a key to open this door. Sorry, I, I think the details are great. Everything looks nice, the creature design is cool, but I don't know about this game, man. Ew. right here. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's continue this. Ooh, look at that barbed wire. Yay, I like barbed wire. It doesn't seem like I'm able to cut this one though. Remember, right, our mission is to go get a fuse from that dude's crashed airplane. That way we can power up the spotlight and take down whatever airborne monstrosity is above us. And I think that smoke over there is our destination. Oh wait, never mind. Smoke everywhere. Oh, never mind, the plane's right here. Yay. Damn it! That one. And that one. And what is it? It's a fuse in the box. Fuse in the box. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh freaking gremlin. Oh, 
Oh, he's kidnapping me. <laughs> what happened, dude? You let a blind man cover your back. That's what you did. That's what happens. Never mind. Sounds like he sniped him out of the sky. Get on your feet, shot. soldier! Come on! Throw me the fuse! Freaking German Yoda right there. Here! Ooh, I get a gun? Hell yeah. Do I actually get After to it, shoot Get some? that hellish monstrosity! I'll repair the searchlights! Then we can finish the job! <laughs> That's cool. Don't tell me you're getting tired now! Go! 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 Uh, if you knew what I've been through. Alright. Because last time they gave me a gun, I didn't even get to use it. So hopefully I get to shoot something this time. I don't have access to my flashlight, though. Uh, let's not go to the dark area, then. Oh, never mind. I guess we're going through the dark area. I can't jump in this game. I feel like we're supposed to go over there, though. I can't walk up this thing. Oh, there you go. Never mind. Freaking game. By we, I mean I will stay up here and safely and yell at you, fight for me, and take credit later. No, definitely. That, that's how life works, dude. Little guy does all the work. Guy who does nothing takes all the credit. It was my plan. I mean, he made the plan work, but it was my plan. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so dark. I don't have access to my flashlight. Somebody say flashlight? Does this artillery work? No? I guess not. Holy crap. Oh, okay. Hey, Bergen. How you doing, man? I see you on 7 Days to Die a lot. Is that a Carol server? Find the place, aren't you? Putting on a nice decor. <sighs> Have you tried any of the new games? Uh, new survival games, at least. Enshrouded or Power World? Oh, what the hell? He took my gun. Let's uh -oh. take a look, other side. Trader from my horde base. Oh, okay. Alright, next sub chapter. It's called Pain. Wait, were we on Pain? I don't know. Eh, we'll see. I'll hop on the server. Uh, tonight probably, just to check it out. I haven't been working on anything over there because, I mean, Carol's barely on, so <laughs> I don't see the point. Ooh. 
bunch of cages or bird cages because that looks like it could fit a human that looks like it fits birds Is it just me, or is the sound cutting in and out? Watch out for prison and use your flashlight. Oh, okay. Newspaper. The war began with mobilization. They left Johannes sign up. Uh, they let Johannes sign up straight away to head to the Western Front and become a hero. But you had to stay at home. I want to. Don't you understand? For our freedom. What's going on? If only oh. Paul. Why was it him? Okay. Bat signal. Nah, man. It's the pigeon signal. We're dealing with pigeons. <laughs> well, in your case, Bergen, it's the vulture symbol. You and your vultures, man. <gasps> oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to scare the pigeons, right? I see, pigeons have been there. Yep, just like your car. See, just like your car. <laughs> Alright, so I got over here. Now what? What was the point of cutting the barbed wire right here? Oh, okay. We gotta cut this one. What did you expect? Yeah, that's not fair. I was aiming for the right one. Let's try this side. You think rank is everything? Boots, finally your chance to show everyone what you're made of. Your lieutenant commanding a company of the Western Front. They need to show you respect. They laughed at you. What did he
evil pigeon. Toothpaste. Was mother right? Did a cuckoo sneak into your home while you were away? Uh, okay. <laughs> a slide. see at the end. <laughs> Whatever that creature in the attic is, it deserves to suffer. But what if? But what if?
Oh shit. Alright, I have to keep walking straight. <laughs> There's no time for pausing. Just have to time all of them. I thought I was in a safe spot, but I guess not. No stopping on that path. Just straight through. It's one of those amputee monsters. Crazy theory. All this is in his head, and uh, he's actually an amputee from war. No, it can't be him. You left him behind. <laughs> Another one? Nope. I just had to crouch, I guess. Just at the start of this game, this fool did get um, hit by an explosion and got uh, blown into some barbed wire and he was just stuck there. So, explosion in mind, probably lost some limbs, and barbed wire, that's why he, he kinda has this fixation of seeing barbed wire in his way all the time. If this is all in his head. And the amputee monsters is pretty much just him. <laughs> My son is dead. He's dead. <laughs> he was as good as dead. You took one look at him among all that wire and ran. He can't have come back, can he? Why don't you listen? Kinda look like something down that way unlocked.
mess. All the pain. If it is him, finish it. We're comrades. Meaning, put him out of his misery. Brothers. Always. Brothers. My children. <sighs> My sons. Forgiveness will be yours if you grant him his freedom. sure what that's all about. to go that way. Alright, testing purposes. I kind of feel like I'm supposed to run into that thing just like the pigeons are. Alright, here we go. supposed to go there. That was just an off path I found.
Underneath all the pain, we're comrades, brothers, always brothers. My children. <sighs> My son. Oh, this thing is actually lowered now. Forgiveness will be yours if you grant him his freedom. It was too high earlier. Oh, look. There you go. So, what the hell was up with that? That was a glitch earlier? I go the other way. Screw you guys. They're pushing me this way. <laughs> they pushed me off the edge. Flashlight wasn't doing crap. that beam down so I can get across. Now the pigeons are hitting the wall again. Doesn't look like 
if there's anything for me over here on this side. I wonder if that lowered the beam. It did not. Another switch somewhere. Underneath all the pain, we're comrades, brothers, always brothers, my children, <sighs> my sons. Forgiveness will be yours. If you grant him his freedom. Okay, I'm at a lost. <laughs> I'm gonna check what I gotta do. Give me one second. Alright, from what I seen you can go down that big old fall and survive it. Let's go try it out. I 
I guess I'm not supposed to be over here yet. Yeah, something here was telling me I should jump, but at the same time, every time I've fallen, I've died. But, yeah, apparently you can survive this jump. I don't know why. Born of darkness and night, made flesh, desecrated, defeated, undying, we live on in eternal plight. Yeah, I have no idea what area I found over there, but... It was leading somewhere. <laughs> I just wasn't supposed to be there. Switch here. There you go. <laughs> That's probably gonna block off those bits. says cages are bad birds love to be free path on the other side though. area, your actions will have consequences.
took something from me. Did he take my flashlight? And how am I supposed to do that? So I guess I just have to go around chopping away at the whatever those are switches. Flashlight, but I was still able to use it. <laughs> Weird.
Apparently it crash landed onto the spotlight. Greedy eye of the old enemy. for the fatherland is your duty how could i be so blind so cowardly paul you are alive and your brother too forgive me please i haven't been a good father to you nor a good husband to madeleine how can we go on from here my son Thank you. 
I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. My dear Paul, I wanted to die for what I did to your brother. The Holy Virgin Mary has returned you to us too. I want to live now, for the two of you. Had to wait till the very end for everything to tie together. Otherwise, you're just clueless of why you're doing everything you are. But yeah, no, it's all making sense. <laughs> you still don't understand, do you? There's no such thing as a half victory. Not for us. Oof. Oof. That's not cool. Like I'm in the uh, asylum. Seems to be looking out for you just like he always used to. Madeline Dogger, congratulations, you may go to war once again, Lieutenant. Full of pride, you read the engraving on your dog tag. Paul von Schmidt, Berlin. crazy human dignity is inviolable 20 million people lost their lives during the first world war never-ending suffering traumatized entire nations of short families and left people with physical and psychological scars they carried for the rest of their lives Wow. That's what it kind of felt like, too, that they were trying to put across a message about war. So, they said the dog tag I received was uh, mine. And the name was Paul. So, I guess we were Paul the whole time. Uh, not Johannes is the, the one I thought I was. So it traumatized the brother where he went to the same asylum. Well, 
Well guys, that was the entire game of Ad Infinitum. Only took me four streams, which probably totaled up around ten hours almost. It's a long game for what it was. And uh... Oh, my comments about the game? There's a lot of reading, a lot of notes. Some were unnecessary, such as inventory lists and stuff like that, but... I, I guess they're trying to immerse you in the world, but it was unnecessary because I'm going around reading everything as it was just to get an idea of what the game was. Like the, uh, whatchamacallit. All the notes pertaining to his family. I was like, there has to be a bigger picture to it. And the bigger picture was all this was psychological stuff within the brother's head. How all, all the events of everything tied in together. But eventually made him crazy. And we were playing from his perspective. So Johannes was probably that mutilated body that we saw at the end. And the way they said that he, he put it to an end, finish it kind of deal. So I'm wondering if he killed his brother. Eh, possibility. But uh, it's unclear to me. I don't want to make any guesses, but... The story was good. Up, I mean, once it hit the end, because the end ties everything together of why all this is going on, what's going on in the guy's head, and why you're going through the trenches doing all this crap. Because for me, playing through the game, I was kind of like, all right, why do I care about this? Why do I care about that? Why do I care about this? Why do I care about all these things happening with the family? Well, there you go. That's what ties it together. But it took us a long time to get to the ending. Graphics, monsters, creatures, whatever you want to call them, all great things. I liked it. Uh, it's a visually beautiful game. I loved it. I just wish the story was a little more well put together to give you more of the scare too, though. I play horror games for the scare. This one was more just, they show you scary things here and there, but not really to jump scare you. So we'll say like this game's like 7, 10. 7 out of 10 just because it was really well made. Just the story is what bugged me and how you progress to it. And the fact is they give you a gun, which you really never ever use. You get to fire one shot throughout the whole game. <laughs> well, that'll be it for me on this game. I'll see what next horror game we're gonna be streaming. But guys on YouTube, thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please consider, I don't know, liking it subscribing to the channel possibly but maybe just leave a comment and let me know what's up what do you think about the game what were your thoughts and ideas but until next time everyone take care stay safe i'll see you on the next stream